Mike Butcher with TechCrunch, and I'm here at Le Web London, and I'm going to talk to uh, Jeremiah Al Yang. Did I say that right? You did a great um, job. <laughs> uh, uh, about uh, his speech uh, on stage just now. So Jeremiah, uh, one of the yeah. themes you were talking about was uh, how big companies are uh, employing the, the themes around the sharing economy uh, yeah. to enliven their businesses. Uh, do you want to, um, do you want yeah. to unpack that for us? Sure. Well, they're not really doing anything. Right now, they're being disrupted by the startups that are here and the ones you guys cover. Yeah. And most of them don't really know what it means. They're just getting hit. And, and uh, some of these big companies are funding lobbyists to fight the startups here. Absolutely. And you've seen it in the news. You, you guys have been covering it. Mm. So right now they're fighting it. And, and the whole thesis, we did research, we interviewed over 35 people in the space, uh, and I looked at 200 startups. I'll show you some of the data in a bit. And we see there's a market opportunity, Mike. They don't need to fight it. They can work with them and partner. So the Altimeter Group has done a lot of research around this. That's right. And, but where, where do you see the interface between uh, the startup economy and the established incumbents? So there's, they each have something different. So the startups have innovation and a new business model. And let's be really clear, the sharing economy is not going away. It's, it's built off the internet. Until you can turn off the internet, this is not going away. No. Let's just let's be really clear. Uh, on the other you hand... You can't shut this stuff down. You can't. You cannot. Yeah. Uh, and corporations have something that startups don't know. They have resources, a distribution network, and trusted customers and a trusted brand. A lot of these sharing startups, you don't know who the other person is, so the, so the economics have been pinned on trust and faith that you're going to go to some stranger's house or for somebody else's for dinner. So if you can combine these, and one of the models we see is called Motivated Marketplace. So Im imagine if Marriott or Hilton certified my guest room in my house. So when you come over to Silicon Valley, you can stay in my Marriott approved guest room. And you know it's gonna be good. And I know that you're part of the loyalty program. You're trusted. We each, we have a great experience each. They get a cut and they send in a maid and clean up after me. We all win and I don't have to clean up my house. I mean, I know you're a clean guy. Yeah, yeah sure. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> but, um, but isn't that sort of disrupting their own business model? But it's like, you either continue this path and continue to be disrupted, or you can take 20% of these new transactions. 20% is the average cut we see across all the startups. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's an open market. Whichever corporation wants to jump in and partner with the startups that are here today and the ones that are on TechCrunch, what's to first stop, mover. What's to stop, what's to stop a, a big company like Marriott or any uh, one of these other companies, like especially the hotel groups, for instance, uh, just creating their own, uh, their own platforms very, and very, trying cutting uh, these startups out? That is very likely. In fact, when we saw very likely. Face, yes. Mm -hmm. Because when we saw Facebook and Twitter and MySpace rise, we saw a number of companies emerge like Lithium, Jive, Intelligent that created your own brand of communities to do that. Both still exist, uh, but they have different uh, value propositions to the customers and the brand. So we should expect to see hotels and our own Airbnb and our own TaskRabbit branded by these corporations very soon. Well, amazing. Well, we're watching out for that. We will uh, watch for it. I'm sure we'll see it on TechCrunch. You guys will break the news. Thanks very much, Jeremiah. My uh, pleasure. Arian from Altimeter Group. Uh, see you later. Thanks.